Okay. We're recording and we are American. No, wait, no, we're not. Welcome, uh, people, to the Harry Potters. Guys, I got a PS1 game working on my computer. How cool am I? Harry Potter and the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. Not the correct version, the Philosopher's Stone. Apparently Americans can't philosophize, so that's that. Oh, I love this game. If it's anything like the game I have, and it probably should be, I don't know why they'd change anything for the American version, probably just a few words, uh, it's gonna be a good old time. Looks like everything's recording properly, so let's begin. Yes, I would like to save. Ho oh, ho! It's working! I'm playing Harry Potter and the, F and the Philosopher's Stone. Whoa, what was that? That was the loading screen. Tho those loading screens used to take fucking ages, and they would always freeze. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys, until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! I don't know whether you can see that, but that, that's flashing. Okay, those cutscenes with the book. I love those. I love this game. This is the nostalgic game. Look at Dumbledore. Look at dang-ass nose Dumbledore with a squishy face. Because it's PS1. Low polygon graphics, but I love it. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, uh, which reminds me, uh, the third wibbly floor wibbles. corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. This fucking... Okay, so, controllers is working. This is good, this is good. I'm playing my favorite game of my childhood. Right here. Whoa, where the fuck you... What? I don't know, oh, though, just went round. Nitwit, blubber, oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? I do, I do think. Ah, hoggy, watty, Hogwarts. Oh, wonderful place to explore. Cool. It sure is. This is one of the most atmospheric games I've ever played. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking. I don't know, let's just play the game. It's fun. It's Harry Potter. It's spooky, it's scary, it's cool. And uh, it's Gryffindor Tower. There are times where it's best if I stay silent to keep the atmosphere cool and whoa, what's behind that corner? It's uh, nothing. But you know, uh, later in the game, well, not even later, it's just, just generally because you can hear there's no music. I know I'm supposed to go over there, but I'm going to go over here. It's like the ghosts, the candles, the, the sound of the fire, the footsteps, the squeaking. Oh wait, I am supposed to go this way. 
It just, it's a, such a magical game. It makes me cook food for myself. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, yeah. Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. It's we'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. You know, I don't think they ever sounded like that in the movies. Even in the first movie, they were sort of... Now, here's a thing I remember. Oh shit, there's a secret entrance! Whoa! See how mysterious and cool this place is? And then we got this. Merlin. Yep. It sure is Merlin. Right, you can collect things in this game. Bertie, Flo Bertie Flots Every Flavor Bleans. And famous witches and wizards cards. And I think that's it. But it is certainly... Oh yeah, and... Yeah, Fred and George just said, if you get the passwords by get it, giving them beans, you can get special portraits that you go behind. But the cool thing is, is you have to find the paintings, and you have to say, well, I mean, they're not hard to find, but it's sort of like, you know, you're told you can get prizes if hey, you get, collect the beans, but it's not just like an open menu, it? and you got, that like, secrets unlocked, and Malfoy, look at some artwork from the... Arm. I think thing. it was your Al Hedwig. It's Let's go after him. Sorry, I was talking over Ronald Weasley. Who looks like... R Whoa. Loading screens. I don't know whether that will come, come up Harry. in the recording, Let's but it's Hedwig. flashing like well, epileptic well, well. seizure sort of levels. The famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, scary. Uh, I can skip dialogue to make them sound funny. That was one of the funniest things ever. When you make them say a word and you skip to the next bit, and it sounds like they say sauce instead of what they were going to say. I don't know about any of you, but I... I really like PS1 graphics. I like the low resolution textures and the wobbly polygons. I like it because it's nostalgic, but I think there's something else. Something else about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane. Oh, wait, no. I think well, I know what it is. The lighting in newer games is too good. It's so shiny and perfect and, like, real life. This doesn't... He's a nasty piece it feels of like you're just, just playing... Ignore him. Us Whoa. Gryffindor should stick together. Did you see his eyes? They're, like, closing... Collapsing in on his nose. Come on, Harry. Follow me. Jesus up. Christ, that's creepy from a distance. Huh. Anything that I've going. noticed that's different about this version is that you can't... In the huh. game version I had, you, um... Follow me. When they say a thing mm. in certain situations, like uh, when Draco Malfoy was to talking, jump. you Just have to press the, the button in order to get them to the say the next thing when the square comes up in the little... The square button comes up. Look, there's another feather. Mm. Sure is another feather. Yeah, the cutscenes or the talking bits you could you, you have to press the button to get them to say the next line. Here they just play the whole thing. And you can skip it if you want. Ooh, I can't believe I'm playing this game again. It's so good. It's so good. Look at that glitch. That's so good. 